We call him instinct. Uh, if you notice look on the pedigree he's an intuition uh, and then you'll see that impeccable cracking down will sound familiar his mother is the same mother as high class who he drove here before um, and so that kind of is how he got his name is our instinct was we already had a brother uh a brother to him or a half sib to him and we knew what high class was doing and looking like and uh, we had to get this guy in here and I think I can openly say it's no secret when we brought instinct in he was pretty sick uh, and we thought he might die on us and dad uh, got him back going and I mean look at him you wouldn't even known he had missed a beat the study again just the length of stride on this guy. And I think if you can look in your write up later on this evening or as you're studying uh, and see all the things that this mother has done and the sow line has done, uh, but I think it's this board that dad put, yeah, all caps, the length of stride. Uh, that gets so underrated by bone and so overrated by, you know, muscle shape but they got to be sound. I think if you want to make some females, but you also want to make barrows that are functional, they're still going to have muscle. They're still going to have bone. And I don't even want to say this as a complete boar, because as soon as you say he's a complete boar, everybody's out. But what are we, you know, the perfect hog is complete. And I think this guy has all the right parts, all the right pieces, exactly where they need to be. His hips laid in right. He comes down to his hock right. Structure. Depth of, depth of jaw bone, depth of body. That's a thing. Depth of jaw bone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but no, we, we really like this guy. And I don't want, when I say that he's complete, you guys to get scared of him. But that, I mean, that is what we are striving for.